Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in AutoCAD. I'm architect Sonurai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, I'm going to teach you about YQR plugin and in this section, I'm going to discuss with you place plane wall oblique column. So I'm going to discuss this one and you can see there are many subcategories. So I will discuss each one and after this, you can draw uh, your uh, plans and elevations very fast using this uh, command so i'm going to first select on plane wall public column and first one is draw axis line so this is used to draw axis line and shortcut command is ax so i'm going to select on to this and you can see axis first point or change to axis so you can simply draw axis to left right and you can see these are the dress lines you can change later on from here and you can uh, hit a space key and then again you can draw some axis line uh, like this so this is very handy and now i'm going to click on this white view arc and i'm going to use this draw grid axis so grid axis is used to draw the grids here simply and you can draw row and column here so with this uh, breadth you can see this here and depth so you can define this uh, breadth like there are three uh, columns here one two three so this is uh, 200 oblique three so these are the dimensions you can change this so suppose I'm going to uh, make this as a 150 and I'm going to uh, multiply using a star here can suppose I want to make seven so there will be seven columns you can see and one two three four five six seven and depth is hundred so this is uh, much larger so this is suppose 15 here so I'm going to make this as a 25 and I'm going to enter and you can see this is the 25 only one row here so again i'm going to give a space key again i'm going to enter 25 and you can see if you enter it there are two rows here so likewise you can place as many if you can and i'm going to enter and you can see there are five so one two three four five likewise you can set your grips and you can place anywhere here and you can set the dimensions scale here so Wise. you can set your grids so now i'm going to next command here so this one is draw wall so shortcut command is ww so you can use like revit so i'm going to click on to draw wall and you can see this is wall start point wall layer so if you select wall layer here you can select your wall layer whatever layer you have set and you can simply select this and now the next is thickness you can change the thickness of the wall so you can pick from the list or you can set your own wall thickness here so i have taken nine inches these all are in inches so i'm going to click on to okay and you can simply draw walls by defining the thickness so likewise you can draw walls here and now the uh, this one is uh, aligned center so if you want to draw a wall from the center you can hit the space key and wall layer uh, wall command is active so i'm going to draw this from aligned center and you can see this is aligned to grid here so now and i'm going to again hit the space key and now i'm going to select this one align left and this will be aligned to left here of the axis line so if you are using the rabbit you can easily understand this this is very much similar like a rabbit so now i am going to my next uh, section here so this one is wall scissors so if you want to trim your wall or uh, make a fillet here so you can use wall scissors so i will recommend to use trim so now i am going to uh, select the next command here so I'm going to use this change wall thickness so if you want to change this wall thickness you can use this command here so I'm going to draw a wall thickness here so I'm going to select this change wall thickness and 
now if you want to change the thickness this is uh, 9 inches so if you want to uh, change the thickness I am going to select any of the line and you can select all thickness here so I am going to make this as a 12 so if you make it as suppose 18 inches thickness wall you can simply select the lines here you can see this is turned to 18 inches and again I am going to select this line if this is turned to 18 inches and you can do like uh, if you want to make inside thickness to increase you can select the outer line if you want to uh, make this to outside you can select the inside line and you can see these all are turned to 18 inches so likewise you can change the wall thickness so again I am going to use this wall offsetting and this one is axis line to walls so if you want to convert your axis line to walls you can simply use this so I am going to first draw axis line here and I am going to this command here uh, this one is axis line to walls so I am going to select this and now I am going to use this 9 inches and I am going to select this axis line and I am going to enter and you can see this axis line uh, is converted to wall and there is a center line so you can use and save your time now the next is see here wall offsetting so you can offset your wall by using this wall offsetting and you can set the offset distance here so I'm going to make this offset distance here to 300 inches and now I'm going to enter and select a line of wall so I'm going to select this line of wall and now offset direction so if I'm going to write I will go to this right direction and simply I will click here and you can see this is offset to distance of 300 inches so likewise you can use this offset tool here again I am going to use this rebuilt wall axis so you can use this to uh, draw a central line here so wall you can draw axis here so I am going to use this rebuilt wall axis and now it is asking select object so I am going to select this wall and I am going to enter and you can see this is our axis line you can easily save and make working drawing very fast and now the next command is fill in wall columns and now you can fill your wall so if I am going to use this and I am going to select this wall and I am going to enter you can easily fill colors and you can save your time and later on you can change this uh, layers or colors here if you want to change this wall fill in color here so now this is very fast uh, while you are plugging and now I am going to the next command here rectangular column so if you want to draw columns you can use this rectangular column section here and now I'm going to select this and now it is asking pick insertion point or change default angle so if you select the default angle you can make this as a zero only because we are drawing zero uh, here so it, this will be straight column size of column you can set it from here so you can uh, change the depth here 15 inch by 19 inch column is there you can choose your own size suppose I am going to uh, make 30 inch by 30 inch so I will use this and I will enter and now fill in a state it is asking whether you want to fill it with color so if you want to fill in column automatically you will type here white for yes or if you don't want any colors you can type n so suppose I am going to uh, make y here you can simply draw columns with our uh, fill in color here and if you select uh, n you can simply make a column without any filling colors here so you can use these techniques here so now likewise you can draw many columns like o shape column l shape column T shape column and this is plus minus shape column and now this is arrange column here so 
how to use this so i am going to first use this line here and now i am going to use fillet here and i will join these corners here and now i am going to use this command here axis or uh, rebuild to all axis so i am going to select all the wall and i am going to enter and all the axis line is here so i am going to um, place this column here suppose i have placed this column here and now i am going to this section here and place wall column and now i arrange columns i am going to select this and you can uh, make this default angle to zero size you can set it from diameter and fill in instead and it is asking first corner so i am going to first select this corner here and i am going to select the whole uh, plan here and you can see this column is placed automatically here and likewise you can arrange column by using this command arrange columns and now we can convert any object to columns so convert to column so suppose if you have drawn any object here suppose i have drawn any circle here and i want to convert this column simply i will go to yqr here and i will use convert to column i will select this circle and i will simply click enter so this is converted to column and you can also fill color here so i am going to again fill in columns so i am going to select this object and i am going to enter and this color is filled it by using this command so these are very useful commands here you can use this and make your uh, design uh, work very fast so likewise you can use this section here plain wall oblique column so you can draw your autocad floor plans and designs very fast using this pipe plugin so this is for this session so in the next session i will discuss the next topic here plain window oblique door so thanks for watching bye bye